What's going on guys? It's Stas here. Welcome to the video. I know I haven't had a workout video in a long time, but this is a chest and tri video, obviously as you read in the title. So to jump things off here, I did chest flies. I went for about three to four sets, 10 to 12 reps, to really pre-exhaust the pecs before I move into my compound movements. I really recommend doing that guys, because it really allows you to get a better pump when you move on to your compound movements. So here, there's two different gyms at the school that I go to, so in this particular gym, they don't have free weight barbell bench, so here I jumped it off with the incline Smith machine, starting off with a 25 on each side, and then I moved to a 45 on each side, and I think I did about two sets with each different weight. So two sets to 25 on each side for about 12 to 15 reps. Two sets with the 45 on each side, or I think I did it for 10 to 12 reps. And then I jumped it off, as you see here, with a 45 and a 10 on each side, and I hit this for maybe eight to 10. But yeah, guys, you gotta work with what you have. The other gym I go to gets really crowded. All the benches are taken. And this one's in my apartment building, so I just go downstairs, hit the gym quick, hard. No one really goes there. Oh yeah, and as you see, I'm about that life. Shout out to Chris Jones, by the way. One of my favorite YouTubers. So here I jumped it off with a 45 and a 25 on each side. I got this for about six, six to eight reps, I think. I think six reps, though. Um, yeah, this one, this was really tough, guys. First time I tried this on the, uh, on the Smith machine, by the way. So then after that, I went to dumbbell bench press with the 70s. I hit this for three sets of eight reps. Really been focusing on flat dumbbell bench press lately, guys, to work each individual pec so there's no muscle imbalances in my chest. Very important, guys. Symmetry. Bodybuilding is all about symmetry. You have to look your best. So here, this is the first time I've attempted the 75 pounds. I really wanted to get five reps, but as you can see, wait, got that second one good, got that third one good, and this fourth one was a grinder. I couldn't get five reps, but I've been trying to overload the pecs, progressive overload, how you build muscle, and how you progressively overload the muscles, and progressively grow. So here's an exercise that I just started doing guys, it's you do one arm at a time for two reps on each pec and on each arm, then you pound out both arms at a time for five reps. This really works each individual pec to the extreme max and you could squeeze each individual pec as much as you want. Epic guys, definitely try that out. So then here, I think, yeah, did some chest flies into 35s here. Did about three sets to 10, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, I believe. This really allows me to contract the pecs, squeeze the pecs, and get a really nice stretch, guys. Very good chest builder here. If you have really good form, it works wonders. So, yep, did that. Then to finish off the chest workout, I hit cables. Cables with the with the cable notch down on the bottom setting. This is a very, I mean, you could do it differently. You could put the cables in the middle, the top. I chose to do it at the bottom because this gives me the best contraction and squeeze. It really works for me, guys. And shout out to my girlfriend. She's the one that filmed this. Did a really good job for putting up with me and for filming me. So thanks, Madeline. Thank you so much. Oh, she's looking at us, giving us a stare. Ha. When I do chest and tries in the same day, I just hit tries, one exercise, usually tricep push downs. So that's what I did, guys. First five sets are about 10 or 12 reps. But that's the workout, guys. Like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.